welcome to the Change It Up Daily Workout sponsored by Core Health and Fitness. I'm Kelly and I'm excited to spend this bar workout with you to help keep our community healthy and active. During these challenging times, we want you to join us each day for the next few weeks as we support each other and change it up. I've got a great bar workout for you today. All you need is your body weight, you don't even need shoes, and a mat if you've got wooden floors. We're gonna warm up. Here's our music. Bring your feet a little bit wider than your shoulders. Lengthen through the spine. Open the shoulders down the back and take a big deep breath in, lifting up. Lift up on your right side. Lift up on the left side. Lift up on the right side again. Pull the elbow back behind the rib and pull the elbow back behind the rib. Both hands up, open the chest, pull forward and pull back. Open the arms, open the chest. Two more. One more. Round. Take your right arm across to the left. Pull back. Two more. Good, both arms forward back. Forward and pull back. Open back and open the chest. One more, left arm across, reach across, pull back. Pull that arm back, swivel the hip. Both arms forward back, pull forward, pull back. Two more. Now breathe in, lift up. Stretching back, hinge all the way forward. Let's do that again, lift up. And hinge all the way forward. Bend the knees, cat cow. Round and release. So you're going to do a cat cow here. Round and release. Getting some mobility in the spine. Tuck the tailbone under, tuck the chin. Now roll up. Roll up. Roll down. Do it again. Roll up. Roll down. Two more times. Roll up. And last one. Roll up. circles. Four more. Letting the hands follow the shoulder line. Now reach across side to side. Let the hips move. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Eight more. Stretch out through that fingertip. Really reach. Four. Three. Bend 
bend down, letting your knees stay lined up with your second toe. Finding length through your spine and posture. So when you bend the knees, you don't crunch down through your torso, you find that length. Let the hands come forward. Just keep the spine really long. Point your tailbone straight down towards the floor. Sink right down. Two and one. Now plie, hold, pulse. Bring the hands out to the side and slightly forward. Like you're holding a giant beach ball. Pulse down and dig your heels into the floor. Eight more, you should be feeling this, I know I am. Four, three, two, stay down. Now, raise the heels. Stay there and balance. Now pulse down. This is really challenging on the balance. Eight, seven, six, not to mention on the legs. Four, three, two, stop. Lower the heels and come up. Now, plie down, raise the heels, straighten your legs, lower the, hip, lower the heels. Plie down, raise the heels, come up, lower the heels. Plie, raise, come up, and down. Do it again. Plie, raise the heels, come up, and lower the heels. Watch me bounce with that. Clear. Raise the heels. Lift up and come down. Two more times. Clear. So we're working the calves, the legs, and a lot of balance. Clear. Raise. Up and down. One more time. Plie. Raise. Up and down. Now. Raise the right heel as you plie. Heel comes up. Hands come forward. Seven. Six. I'm not sure if you can see my heel racing. I'm raising that right heel, not the left. Two and one. Stop here. Rotate around towards the left. I'm going to sit back so you can see a little bit more of me. small space is challenging. I'm used to having quite a bit more space, but hey, I'm used to a lot of other things too. I'll live. Times like this, we have to learn to make the most of what we've got and feel grateful for everything we have. And I sure do. I'm glad you're joining me today.
Ik ga voor mijn dikke. Two more. One more. There we go. 
Here I'll go down. Side bridge. And then we'll move into a side plank as an option. Lift the hips. Reach the arm up. Take that top leg. Stretch it out. Now stay here. If you want, you can bring the other leg out. And slightly behind that top leg. Hold that side plank.
coming back into that bridge. All right, feeding kick distance, kick distance with the feet. Palms up, lift up, two and down, two. Up, two and down, two. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Point your tailbone between your legs, so you're slightly tucking the tailbone under. Palms of the hands face up, flex the feet so that the balls of your feet lift up off the mat and you're digging your heels into the floor. Push up as high as you can. Nice. Ah, I love bridges because they open out the front of your hips and they strengthen the whole posterior chain for that body. Good. Stay up, hold. Come down. Knees to chest, rock up, plank. Come onto your forearms. Come onto your knees initially. All right, now, tuck your toes under, lift the knees off the mat. Slightly tuck your tailbone under. Lift, lengthen through the entire spine. Pull your navel in towards your spine. Abs are tight. Knees open, push back, lift up, round the back, release, push ups. Knees or toes, absolutely fine, whatever you choose. Here we go, 12 reps. And lower the chest, about level with the elbows. You don't have to go all the way down, that puts a lot of stress on the shoulders. You'll definitely find this a little bit gentler on the shoulders if you only come about halfway down. Well, I've lost count. I don't know any trainers that can count. I'm the worst, I admit it. So let's just do one more. Sit back a second. Come up into a cat cow. Good. We're gonna do one last exercise and it's a really good one for your posture. It works all of the back body, works a little balance. It's called a bird dog. Comes out of physical therapy, really great exercise. Spread your fingers out. So spread your fingers out. Bring your hands under your shoulders and knees under your hips. You'll take the right left leg and stretch it out. You stretch the right hand out away from you. Bring it down. Good. Now, other leg stretches out. Left hand reaches away. Keeping the body level and come down. Let's do it really quickly now. Reach. I'm going to turn a little bit. Maybe you can see a bit more of me. And down. Reach. And down. Like that. Reach. And down. Stretch away. That's the tight. Shoulders. And down and back. Flex the foot. Rub the shoulders away from the ears. Yeah. 
downward facing dog. Press your shoulders away from the ears. Press your chest towards your shins. Press your heels towards the floor. Lift the heels. Bend the knees. And sit. Good. Lift up. Coming up. Now take one leg and bring it forward. Let's just say you're right there. Stretch in the front of your right hip. Now lift the chest and press forward. Squeeze that left foot. Bring your right hand onto your thigh. Reach that left hand up. Straight up. Push forward and now lean. You should feel a really deep stretch in the front of your left hip. Bring that hand down in front to the floor. Tuck your toe under. Straighten that leg and sink down. Now, lift up and sink down. Lift up as best you can, straightening that leg as much as you can. Four, and sink down. One more. Good, come down onto your knee. And change sides. So you've got your left leg forward, right knee down, scoop the tailbone under, lift the chest, push forward without releasing the hip. So tuck the tailbone under as much as you can, squeeze that glute, reach the hand up, and lean. Opening out the front of your right hip. Should feel really good. Good, bring that hand down. Look forward, take your elbows and press back. Looking forward, 
bring that hand across, pull me in, and open the chest. Great. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a great workout, and I look forward to seeing you again really soon.